much for being here. Like I said, this is Improvisation. Welcome to Whole World Improvisation. Everything that we do tonight is gonna to be made up on the spot. Not one line is planned, no jokes are planned. We put the actors on the stage and they improvise. Every single second they are out there on the edge and you're gonna to get to see everything we do on the stage tonight. Not only that, but we got cameras. We got big cameras and we got little cameras and we go out into the public with all kinds of groovy cameramen and we hide these cameras. And we mess with the public. You, our lovely public from Atlanta, we mess with you and we capture these on film right here for you to view throughout this show. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna tell you, not only is everything improvised, but the music is improvised. This man, Mr. Kevin Little, my good friend, musical genius, give it up for Kevin Little, ladies and gentlemen. audience tonight. Y'all are being wonderful right off the bat and I thank you for it. I thank you for your suggestions. Please welcome to the stage to begin the night, Lance and Emily. For your pleasure, here they come. All right now, Lance here, Lance wave at the audience. Lance has been a very, very lonely guy lately. Why has he been so lonely? Because of early discharge. Okay, he's been very lonely because the army. Oh. <laughs> See, we're gonna get right out of that one. The army <laughs> discharged him early. He is now working in the pest control business. He's working for a pest control company, the type that wake you up early in the morning to spray your house. He sprays various homes. Climb on up here because he's gonna be entering Emily's abode this morning to spray her house. He's there because he's lonely. He had to take a job getting kicked out of the army. How many of you were able to give suggestions to our helper before the show? suggestions of feelings, different types of emotions. I will be changing the boy, Lance's emotions from time to time throughout this scene, the pest control, bug guy, emotion spot. Give him a little sugar, let's see where it goes from here. <laughs> Ma'am, would it make you feel more comfortable putting oh on a- Oh my God! Would it make you feel more comfortable putting on appropriate clothing? Because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here, I'm gonna be here for a little while, and not that I mind. No, I'm fine. Jolly. Who, what are you doing? Pest control. <laughs> I did not call for a pest control person. Well, no. someone that loves you did. Because oh. I'm doing you a favor, ma'am. There is a termite problem. Oh. Well, a problem in your eyes, joy for me. All right. Did Carlton send you? Serious. Yes, he did, ma'am. <laughs> he didn't call me. He called me at exactly 0700 hours. Well, Carlton didn't tell me that you were coming today. Surprised. I guess that was a surprise. Surprise. Really? No. <laughs> Amazed. Wait, wait, he did not call you? No. This is, he does this to me. This is absurd. It is absurd. Oh, this is my only day to sleep. Flirtatious. You don't need your beauty sleep. <laughs> if that's what you're going for, beauty sleep. Yeah, You don't well. need it. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Would you mind if I... Complimentary. Continue spraying this yeah. beautiful apartment? Aw. <laughs> Thank you. How much are you paying for this apartment? Seven twenty-five. <laughs> all utilities. Seductive. Included. I can pay that for you. <laughs> I make a lot of money doing this. I might not look it, but I do. I'm sure you do. You see but... this? Wow. Proud. I made this. <laughs> it's my own invention, actually. The other ones were a lot bigger and they didn't hold as much bug juice. But Jealousy. This one... Jealous. Well, that is quite something. Yeah, well, it's not as good as Joel's. <laughs> Joel's is half this size and it's white. Oh. Schizophrenic. I'm Joel. Hi, how's it going? Um, oh, anyway, I'm just gonna get right to yeah. squirting this, all right? Oh, where did I get Lance's bug zapper? Oh, well, I'll use it anyway. Ashamed. Well, yeah, I, I think maybe you should just go ahead and get done what you need to do. Because I'm a bug guy. You just get out of here, right? No, I didn't mean that. I just, I'm really tired. Self-doubt. I got a big day today. 
big meeting. Are you, are you just saying this to make me feel better or something? <laughs> I mean, just let me know if I'm coming on too strong. I am, aren't I? No. Oh, you're cute, right? No. no. Is it my breath? No, you're fine. I just, Curious. Can you just go and, and do what you got to do? I mean, what termite problem do I have? I was, do that again. Stoned. Again. <laughs> can you just... Wait, wait, just do this in front of my face. Horny. Can you just... Just do this. Yeah. Can you just go and, and spray? Because I'm... I, I really got to get some more sleep. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I didn't come here to spray. I've been watching you. I've been looking at you. I've been watching through your window. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life, ever. Thank you. And I got something to show you. Uh -huh. PMS. Okay. Okay, that's it? Just okay? <laughs> no, you're... You didn't even compliment me, I just complimented you. You're in my... You see these three guys, ladies and gentlemen? These, believe it or not, these are the masters of love. Yeah! Our male audience members have been asked to write down questions about the many mysteries of a woman. And these masters of love are here to answer them. The first question that we have for these masters is, does a bikini waxing hurt? This is what we need to know. Guys, does a bikini waxing hurt? Bikini waxing does hurt a lot. No question about it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the masters of love do not beat around the bush. They get right to the subject, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go to another question here. What do women really mean by hold me? Grizzly bears hug women. Mostly under Circumstances that would prohibit them from doing otherwise. <laughs> well, I'm gonna back up the masters here because I know that they, they, every now and then, might slip into an area that seems vague and ambiguous. <laughs> but <laughs> knowing the masters and watching them in action as I have over the years, I find myself wanting to reach further for the truth. And I'm gonna ask them this simple and possibly ret <laughs> rhetorical <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to suppose that any question about a woman would be simple. But, but this, this rhetorical, seemingly rhetorical question is, what are women really thinking? They don't really think. <laughs> Wow. All right, there's, there's, there's nothing more direct than brevity. So let's, let's ask it in a different way. Do women think about sex as often as men do? Do they think about it as often? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Short and sweet, there you have it. They certainly do think about it. Then why do women lie about how many people they've slept with? 
Because women don't have a lot of partners to lie about. <laughs> They're not always ready to admit flaming slutty whores <laughs> that they are. <laughs> six guys going like this and all the girls are going like <laughs> it ain't funny perhaps you could enlighten this for the final the final question of the night why why do women go to restrooms in, in a group duck build platypuses also go to the bathroom in pairs women are like webbed feeted platypuses <laughs> in the restroom together. They lay eggs <laughs> and polish their beaks. <laughs> Two other runs to run on. Uh, I'll give you, I mean, I swear, I'll give you ten, the rest of the change. If you'll just read this with me one time. Sure. I mean, I've got this okay. audition tomorrow, and it's just yeah, like yeah, man, that, driving that me crazy. Good, I mean, sure. You're Conrad, I'm Mr. Giovanni. Can you tell me why, why, Mr. Giovanni, would a man, a powerful, respected businessman like yourself, why would you give millions to a low-life con man, an evangelist like revered Teddy Lo Toto, Teddy Towel? Conrad, you're so young. You want, you want to do me a little favor? I'll give you a ten dollar tip. You just, I've got an audition tomorrow uh, for a movie. I've learned English. No, 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 no. Un poquito. Poquito, English. poquito, poquito, poquito. Can you tell my wife why Mr. Giovanni would among a powerful and respect both man like your friend? Why would you give millions to low life common evangelists like Reverente Towel? Conrad, you're young. I mean, you're not my family, but, but I treat you like family, yes? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. You are like my own father. Get down, Conrad. Oh, my God. Conrad, they're, they're everywhere. Look. Look over there. Do you see him, Conrad? You're not my family, but I treat you like family, yes? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. You are like my own father. Shh. Get down, Conrad. Oh, my dear young Conrad. We're, we die now, perhaps. Perhaps together we breathe for the last time. Look, Conrad. <laughs> ah! Don't move, you dirty grease ball, you shifty, nasty nose picking pussycat. I see you prowling. Don't move, you dirty grease ball. You shifty, nasty nose picking pussycat. I see you prowling. Can you do a uh, more dramatic? Do not move, Julio Grease Ball. You see nasty, nasty picking pussycat. I see you prowling. You and I, Conrad, together, yeah. We're gonna be okay. Yes, Mr. Giovanni. Yes, you and I. Yes, you and I. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool, man. Right? Yeah. We are now gonna take you to the Whole World Newsroom, ladies and gentlemen, the Whole World Newsroom, and there are three very urgent breaking news stories that are happening around the world right now. Can I have three locations anywhere in the world? Three Jamaica. locations. Graceland. Graceland. Jamaica, Graceland, Kenya, <laughs> and Zimbabwe is the first thing that I heard. Zimbabwe. Okay, now let's go to the next question, which is, uh, could I have, in Jamaica, they're having a huge celebration. What are they celebrating? Yeah. Podfest. Right on. Okay, what about in Graceland? There's a tragedy occurring. What tragedy? Elvis died. Elvis. Honey. Elvis returned. That was uh, the. Heart shortage. 
Okay, he died again. And what happened? What tragedy? You get hit by a bus? What happened? Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner accident. It's kind of nasty. Elvis's second death with a vacuum cleaner, okay? <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch. Now, in Zimbabwe, ladies and gentlemen, they have found a new oddity, a worldwide oddity. What did they find? Taxi! Out? A taxi. A taxi. Okay, they were able to get a taxi. There's a, there's a taxi in Zimbabwe. All right, why not? What the hell? If Elvis can die twice. <laughs> We are now going to take you to the Whole World Newsroom, ladies and gentlemen. The Whole World Newsroom. Give it up for Let's hear it up for yeah. And welcome back to Whole World Action News at 11. I'm Tucker St. John Smythe. <laughs> Our top story today, Jamaica is celebrating the almighty pot fest and celebrity reporter Jim Isa has the scoop. Jim? Hey, how are you, Tucker? Scottish. Good, Jim. What's happening there? Oh, I'm looking all around and I'm seeing all these Jamaicans here. And they're smoking all kinds of spleef there, Tucker. Jim. Fascinating, Jim. Jim, does it look as if the crowd is going to get out of control, or are they keeping it well in good, clean fun? Woody oh. Allen. Well, it's funny that you should mention that, because I just, I saw my rabbi, and he tried to pass me a joint, and I, I said to him, Rabbi, I shouldn't be smoking right now. I'm working. He said, it's OK. I shouldn't be smoking, too. I'm about to give a bris. <laughs> It was interesting, so I thought that maybe, perhaps, things were going to get out of hand here. Well, I can understand the temptation, Jim. Are, are other Americans like yourself there being tempted and succumbing? Dr. Evil. Yes, my friend, they are. <laughs> I've actually created what I like to call a water bong. <laughs> and in this water bong, we put ice cubes and water, and we happen to be smoking hashish, which seems to be getting us quite high. It's really wonderful. It is. Thank you very much for that investigative report. Graceland, where the king was spotted yet again and has expired yet again. <laughs> On the spot, investigative reporter Phil Cater has the scoop. Phil? Irish, Irish. Hello there, Tucker. Well, it's a sad day in Graceland again. 22 years after the first death of the king, well, the housekeeping help came into the main mansion in Graceland and found him on the floor. This was, this was actually Elvis' physical body. Bullwinkle. That's right, Tucker. <laughs> that was Elvis. We all thought he was dead, but he was just working as a handyman around Graceland. When they found him with the vacuum cleaner, he was experimenting with a new liposuction technique, trying to reduce the tons of fat that were on him after all these 20 years, don't you know? Fascinating. Phil, tell the American people this. Has a memorial been set? Can people mourn yet again for the king? James Brown. <laughs> I personally got to mourn for the king. Because when I met him in 1964, he said to me, James, if you ever come and they went down to downtown that I ever see you now, and I got around the sidewalk, he's gonna be in my mouth now, and I'm gonna be for him alive. And he was. And so that's why I'm sad that the king is dead. I wish he was back, but he's not. He died with a vacuum cleaner. And that's all I got to say. The king is dead. Long live the king. How? Report. Zimbabwe, where the Z apparently stands for Zowie, check me out, I got a cab. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot investigative reporter Lance Kroll has the scoop. Lance? Mexican. Man, all I got to say is it's beautiful out here, man. <laughs> Lance, I understand that, that cars are actually foreign to the economic uh, social stratus there in Zimbabwe. So Not anymore, man. I Robert mean, like, De Niro. Yeah, I mean, you know, I saw these two guys, you know, fighting over this cab. These, you know, these Zimbabwe guys. The Zimbab yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fighting. They're fighting. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Got, got the cab. Yeah, you know what I'm you. saying, you piece I of uh -huh. <laughs> You son of a <laughs> Ask another <laughs> question. <laughs> You gonna ask another question? Uh, I, I'm gonna come down here and put Arnold a hole in the head. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, 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 Lance, who, who actually got the cab? Was it a, a rich patron or was it just a peasant? They, they, they've already established sort of a system. And uh, I'm not exactly privy to it, but I'm hoping to learn it. <laughs> Lance, tell me this. Are there 
indications that, that the economic situation there is actually going to improve? Christopher Walken. Wow. <laughs> You asked a lot with that question. <laughs> Not only do you want me to tell you about the cabs, taxis in Zimbabwe, but you want to ask me about their social and economic structure. I'm sorry, but I'm not a smart man. All I gotta say is the, these little Zimbabwe people, they better get out of the way, because I gotta get a cab. <laughs> taxi, taxi. That's all we have time for. This is Tucker Sinch and Smite saying, keep the faith.